In the Young and the Restless special preview, Adam will have an episode with Vector, a chessboard, and many stories. Last week, Adam and Nick were very lucky to escape from the Kansas basement, and they had a very interesting episode rated by most fans as the most special ever. They were trapped but separated, and Nick swore if they got out, Adam would have to save Faith's life, that he would help him and not hand him over to the police. Nick made the mistake of thinking that Adam would abandon himself by freeing himself, which is pretty selfish. Adam has now changed. He won't abandon family. Upon returning to Genoa, Nate was delighted to see Adam show up. He knew Faith would be saved, which meant a lot of Nate. Even Ray, who knew Adam was back, promised not to bring him in until the surgery was over, but Adam's health is a serious problem. I think the writers will create a failed surgery, Adam will slip into a coma, but Faith saved. Adam will become a vegetable because there is a mistake during the surgery and it's Nate's fault. Adam lost consciousness pretty quickly. Sure, we all know the meaning of a plant man. Everyone in the Newman family is very worried. Adam won't die, but it's hard to reign consciousness when he falls into a vegetative state. Adam agreed with his choice and signed the paper before the surgery. Something went wrong, he took the risk. He could save Faith's life, which Billy taunted him. This was the shot. If we had to guess, then this episode somehow plays the role of implant surgery in which Adam is said to give Faith his kidney. Did something go wrong on the operating table, leading Adam to being forced to reflect on himself and his life in a difficult way? Can Adam wake up or not? Who is willing to take care of him during the days when he's unconscious? Faith will feel guilty when Adam has saved her, and surely she'll be very sad. Victoria is probably the happiest person when receiving this information. She wished Adam died, then there would be no more competitors to compete with her. It's a bit cruel, but that's what Victoria thought. She's power-obsessed. She's going to do everything she can to be the CEO of Newman.